This is the DJI OM6 Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal. Had it a few days now and I have an Android phone. It seems like all the reviews that came out on this thing were using the Apple iPhone and stuff. So I was kind of curious when I bought it of what the compatibility would be. So now that I've had it, I will show you guys some of what it can and can't do. So the first big question I had is will it fit the S22? And if it does fit it, will it fit in a case? And the clip here just slides open. This is a slim case from Samsung's website, but um, it does fit. You can see you have to line it up with the camera facing that way. Slides on, pushes my Bixby but button, which is awesome. <laughs> um, once you center it, it does cover the power button but you can still press it if you jam your finger in there and it's not holding the button down. So it hasn't peeled off my screen protector either, which is nice. But basically, once you have it on, the gimbal itself is pretty small. You just unlock it, fold it open. In my case, I'm gonna screw on the tripod stand that it comes with. And it clicks on and then it balances a little bit. And if it doesn't balance, it's probably because it didn't quite click in. So now we're balanced and ready to go. I think one of the, the biggest, at least you could say, downsides to this I found right away is that if you try to look down, it doesn't go very far. Even if you put it in landscape, that's as far down as it can look. You can look up at a pretty good angle, just not down. And it's funny because it's not going to hit anything here, but maybe it's just as far as it was designed to move or maybe it's more designed to be held like this. So that you have, well, if you hold it like this, then you can't go up any farther than this. So I don't know. <clears throat> All right, let me switch. Let me show a size comparison here too. So. This is the OM6 gimbal side by side with like a Ronin SC, which is massive and heavy in comparison. And then there's also the GoPro Volta handle with a Hero 10 on it. I'd say this is the smallest of all of them, but weight wise, this is a pretty heavy setup, um, especially where you're probably gonna be holding your phone or in your pocket anyway. So let me go to the app here. The DJI Mimo app. The app is interesting. Um, the app is in the Apple Play Store, but it is not in the Google Play Store. You have to go on DJI's website to manually download it. You have to make sure your phone's set up to allow unknown sources, and then you can install it. And I think that's kind of sketchy, <laughs> partially because DJI is a Chinese company, but also, just because you don't really know what it's doing in the background. You know, it hasn't had that review by the Google store. And if it's not on the Google store, there's probably something about it that didn't pass their standards. So anyway, once you're in the app, the big question I had when ordering this is, how compatible is it with the Galaxy S22 Ultra's cameras? And you can see here, this is a 1X and if you start zooming in, right around 3x, ooh, you see a little, I need those to go away. Right around 3x, you can see it switched to the 3x camera, which is awesome. So you have 1x camera, 3x camera support, but as you continue to zoom in, It peaks at 8x, so you never get to use your 10x camera. And if you zoom out all the way, you never get to use the 0.6x camera. So you got 8x down to 1. 
So this gimbal doesn't have support for, hang on, two of the cameras on this phone, which is kind of a letdown. Like if you have a, a zoom knob, you probably want to be able to zoom to 10x. So anything beyond 3x is getting into digital zoom. The other thing that um, is probably worth noting um, is that, and I don't have an iPhone to compare to, but you don't have a whole lot of camera functionality in here. So you got face track, selfie, shot guides, which I'm gonna turn off for now. You have 4K at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 30, and 720p at 30. You can't do 60 frames per second, you can't do like HDR, you can't do um, HDR. There's a whole lot of stuff that's missing in the built-in camera. And if you go to photo, it's kind of going to be similar. You don't have like uh, geotagging for maps. Wait, this looks different the last time I saw it. There we go. You don't have geotagging and probably missing out on the HDR shots and other things. Um, at least you can change it to 16 by 9. And probably worth showing here too is uh, the built-in camera. If you do want to use that so that you can do, um, you know, the 10x camera and whatnot. It will work as a gimbal, but it's kind of a dumb gimbal at this point in that the record button won't work, uh, but you can still look up and down and do what you need to do as a basic gimbal. You won't have active track either. So let me go back to DJI's app. Uh, active track does work. You can, let me zoom in a little. I want to get it on the 3X camera at least. There. And um, if you pull the trigger, it'll active track. <laughs> Zoom magnification too large, unable to use active track. Sorry, that's a new one. I didn't know that that was an issue. So at 1x, active track is on. And working. And one more trigger pull turns that off. I'm trying to remember some of the shortcuts. So like double tap it. Three centers, uh, holding this one doesn't do anything. Pressing it once flips it to selfie. And actually, let me do that again with it actually pointing towards me. It auto starts active track as soon as you do that, as soon as you flip it over. And let me step over here and try the the active track when you do you're supposed to be able to do a peace sign. But actually I think I forgot to turn it on. Oh I'm not in video. Let me get in video. Gesture control, let's turn that on. So I want it to follow and shoot. So it will use active track. Okay. Just make sure you're in view of it. Do the peace sign. Watch it not work. Identify stay gesture, stay within four meters of your phone. I'll do it up close here. Nothing. Let me tip the camera a little more towards the car here. Might just be too busy. There we go flashes a few times and then it starts recording and following.
I'm guessing it took so long to work that first time because it's so busy behind me. But you can see it's moving around, it's following me. Keeps up. All right, let me stop that. Double tap to recenter. I'm kind of curious now that I found out that zoom thing, will actor track work if you're like, I don't know, just a little bit zoomed in? Yeah, it will, okay. Yeah, oh, and as soon as you hit 3x, it switches camera and then it turns off. So that could probably be fixed in software, but I don't know if um, DJI doesn't really have a record of adding new features once something's released. So we'll see. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you like videos like this showing different tech and um, doing outside stuff that I do a lot of. Thanks. Bye.